here. So here's the road. Staying at the Redison Fort George in Belize City. Um, it's in a central location. Uh, this is actually from a tour guide that they told me that the last time Queen Elizabeth was here, she actually stayed at this same hotel. Uh, but she hasn't been here in like 20, 30 years or something. So there's that. Uh, room's pretty cool. Of course, I have two beds because I thought somebody else was going on this trip with me at first, but however, they didn't. So, still got the room here. And outside here, as you can see, is a little private balcony area. I told so, Belly. our neighbor to the west and we have also to the north Mexico also to the south and west is Guatemala so this river the source of it came from the mountains of Guatemala and it go east into the Caribbean Sea okay. yes it, we have 100 185 miles of barrier reef and wow. 300 and, and 250 islands key this is the second, Sea Atoll, the world's second, second largest living barrier reef. Okay. It's alive, right? You see all of them. Okay. Yeah, so that's the north side, the unprivileged. This is the, the, the that's our, sorry, that's the south side, the unprivileged. This is the north side where the rich and the famous are. Okay? That's a cruise ship dock, right? Before, water was coming back to this fence. That was from the uh, tornado or whatever? No, Hurricane? because when the cruise ships start to come, they brought in a company from Florida, and the company pumping the dirt from the sea, and they build this two, this two lane road to accommodate the, the cruise ship passengers. From the river, okay. come from the mountain. Yes. Uh, one of our... Uh, Archaeological Maya um, Altunha. To look at it, like oh yeah, like I do. Yeah, I do see it. Yeah. Also, if you're looking on, on our bear, the pelican, it has the same building on it, Maya temple. So you think we could like hop over that fence and like wrap this place and get some money real quick? <laughs> they have some tight security. <laughs> tight, tight, tight. Yeah, you, you by maybe 99 percent. They will catch you, man. Like 99% they will catch you. You have to be a really, really, like, be an insider with the guy. Yeah, from uh, Pittsburgh. From the United States. So, live here, retire, whatever. You welcome back, you know? When you get time, you could come back, you know? Yeah. I just kind of like want to show it. Yes, man. Yes, yes, you, you know what? You're saying lawyers, but it sounds like you're saying liars, which is pretty much the same thing, right? <laughs> Yeah, here is uh, where all these uh, rich folks they live, right? Protected in a uh, king's park, right? King's park. Once you have that instinct, instinct of piracy, mm -hmm. you could make it in Belize. Okay. Yeah, because Belize is, was discovered by the pirates. Okay. They fought for it together. All among themselves, they fight. So and now the Creole comes out. So now what about the Mayans? I was reading up about them and all their different civilizations. How did that, I mean, they were here first, right? Before everybody else? Yes. Okay. And the then there's still a population of them here today, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. But the Creole, the Creole is the one that came out standing and they run the country today. And then I was reading where like, was it the people from Spain came and 
fight. Kind of took over and then yes. <coughs> fight to the payment. Okay. Right? This is another new building. Another new condo. Benley. Benley, right? Benley. The Spanish people, they did not interest in a mahogany wood. Okay. They do not, uh, they, they only interested in gold. So, there was a little conflict with them and the British and the, the Spanish end up leasing the British land, like give them land for, for the mahogany, but the, the Spanish do not know what the value of the mahogany, but the British they know. Okay. So they lease the land from the British, I mean from the Spanish, but eventually it became the British. So they fight, they had a fight at St. George's Key. St. George's Key, our first capital, and they had a battle, what you call the Battle of St. George's Key, okay. and the British won over with the Bayman, the same Creole people. They fight together and they won it because so, they, oh, sank, they sank the Spanish ship. When it come in with the, the, with the weapon, they sank it. So there is no way they could have fight anymore. So how did you uh, kind of get like your independence back? Because it, you just recently, what was it, like in the 80s or something? Just 1981 from Mr. George Price. Because okay. Mr. George Price fight for our... We didn't fight with gun, but we fight with power from our art. Mr. George Price demand that we get independence and we get it. Because if he didn't... If we didn't have go with independence, he would... He is an ancestor from Guatemala. Mm. He would have go with Guatemala. He would have... Gather all the people in Belize uh -huh. and that with him and they were a fight to go with Guatemala. So he preferred to get independent. The British preferred for like settling. Okay. They will they don't want to fight with him. So they say, okay, we're going to give you independence. But we're going to we going to remain on our, our, our control. That is how we get independent. So I mean they still have do they still have a certain influence or degree of control? Because like the president Prince Harry was here, and then I think, what, the Queen is still on y'all currency here? Yeah, she is the head of the state. The Queen is the okay. head of the state. Okay. And she have a Governor General. The Governor General gets paid by the, by the Queen of England, and she runs the Queen. The Governor General is a female, recently elected. Before okay. it was a male, but now it's a female. And she gets paid by the Queen of England, and she controls the army and the police. And the Prime Minister control the, the people, the, the civilian, and the House of Parliament. Yeah. It's amazing how much Britain had control around the world. Because, I mean, you know, she's like on the currency of Canada and then Australia. Everywhere, yeah, and... everywhere. Everywhere she is on the money, yeah, everywhere, yeah. That's crazy. But that is how our... We were here, the British were here from the 13th century. The 13th century, yeah. Right, this is... This so, is an upscale building. This is kind of like Beverly Hills? Yeah, like Beverly Hills. Uh, you know? Yeah. This area, upscale. So are there any areas that have like houses worth like a million dollars? Yes, sir. Yeah. Some of them is 1.5, 500,000. Yes, sir. If you have money, mm -hmm. here is where the doctors, the lawyers, the judges is from this college, the kids they came out of. Yeah, St. John College, right? So how much does it cost, like, when average to the school? Yeah. I mean, it, how much does it cost? Like three, four thousand per month, per year. Per year? Oh, yeah. That's not bad. Here you will come. That is the emergency. So is this the main hospital in all of Belize? Yes, or? sir. This is okay. the main hospital in all of Belize. You were saying that uh, you can, you used to be able to get a Before pension at 45? our pension, you have to be 45 mm -hmm. before you get retire okay but now it's 65. just i mean they made it 20 years gap but big that's a huge difference <laughs> man <laughs> so that's to mexico how did you get to uh, guatemala west you gotta go to the western west? highway this okay. is the northern highway okay yeah we only have three main roads north west and south three main roads right it was cool so i walked up <laughs> yeah yeah
All right, so I can say that since I've been here, I felt perfectly safe the whole entire time. Um, I even felt like I could walk this by myself and it wouldn't be an issue. Could you talk about uh, how people are always saying Belize City is like so dangerous and like why they say that and what if it's true and uh, also what parts might not be so safe? Well, I do not know how true is it. We all, we only have a little misunderstanding among ourselves like beef. But for me, I don't I do not have any problem living here. No problem. No, no one trouble me. You welcome to come anytime and visit. It's safe. And once only if you go everywhere in the world, you have to go with the right people. If you go with a licensed tour guide like myself, licensed people, no, and they took you to the right place. But if you wander off sometime, you go and pick, even if you're in a big New York City, you pick the wrong direction, sometimes you end up with the bad guys. But everywhere in Belize is safe. It's just you have to be with the right people. And you said it's mainly more so on the south side where you have... Like I live in the ghetto, and no one <laughs> trouble me in the ghetto. And sometimes I bring guests in the ghetto, no one trouble no one. Because you a thug? Yes, huh? <laughs> no, I said because you're a thug. Right? Yeah. No one troubled me in the ghetto. No one. We have the south side, the north side. I live on the south side, and we're on the no north side. No difference. All right, yeah. could you talk a little bit about why uh, Belize is a great place to visit or even live? We, we offer both wars, sea and land. Belize is very great. You're welcome here anytime. Nothing to, to lose. We always win many opportunities. We are a young country. Welcome to visit. We have the barrier reef, we have the, the Maya ruin, we have the cave, we have everything. One of the oldest swing bridges in the world and it's spinned by six men. Mm. Pay to the mayor and then you come in and the mayor will pay and the bridge will go parallel with the, the river and you could come in and go up into the river by sailboat, whatever. Yes. How old is this bridge? This bridge, this bridge is about like 300 years old. Okay. This bridge, one of the oldest swing bridges in the world. world. It spins on an axle. Did yes. they ever do any repairs on it? Not recently. Okay. Not recently. But they are planning to replace the bridge. Oh, okay. They're planning to replace it. Another swing bridge or? Yeah, yes. Okay. Another swing bridge.